Hey guys, it's Kessa, and you are watching Uniquely Weird, or, hold on, this is what we're gonna do, alright? You, duh. So, two pennies like peace, and then three. So, go practice that, you ready? Hey guys, this is Kessa, and you are watching Uniquely Weird, and I know that we have been MIA. I've been wanting to make a video for a while now. Today I just decided to turn on the camera and just talk. I wanted to talk about some of the roadblocks, um, some of the reasons why we haven't posted a video. And I can take, you know, some of the blame for that, mostly because Steven, as you know, has his own channel. Uh, it's Sir Dancelot or Sir Dancelot 29. And he has that to focus on. So this one is more so the ideas come from me. And the drive mostly comes from me. And I've been having some type of mental roadblocks um, as to why I just, I don't know, I can't <laughs> seem to put all of my ideas that I have for us into action. I spoke with some friends of mine uh, last week and I talked to them and I finally kind of confessed to them why I haven't posted a video. And I talked about our last video that me and Steven uh, posted. The last video we posted was the My Boyfriend Does My Makeup Challenge. And granted, it was really fun to make. Like, we had a lot of fun doing that. And a lot of people really enjoyed it. They say how silly me and him are and everything like that. But to be honest with y'all, I honestly hated <laughs> the way that I looked in that video. Like, I hated it. I hated the way I sound, I hated the way I looked so skinny or whatever, and that honestly stopped me. I didn't really sit for most of the editing in that. I know I did some voiceovers on there, but while talking to my friends, they brought up that there are a lot of girls out there, just people, period, that have some of the same insecurities that I have. Um, and she was telling me, or they were telling me that there's a lot of people who would like to see someone like me, someone that they can relate to on camera. Because me, honestly, I love to see a confident, skinny girl, you know. Like, there are models, you know, who are skinny and they take pictures and they, they're fine within their bodies. But when it comes to the, the normal girl, you know, I'm not a, a girly girl. I've tried that. It just doesn't work for me. Um, but I'm a plain Jane, and I love seeing other plain Janes. And it took me a while because I felt like someone like me isn't for the camera. Someone like me isn't meant for YouTube because who wants to sit up and watch some little boring little girl, you know? <laughs> um, just who wants to watch their videos? That's how I feel. Who wants to watch me? But after speaking with them, they let me know that there's a lot of people who would like to see me and that would like to see a type of woman that I am, you know? I'm 25 years old, I have a baby face, I don't really wear makeup that often, I have a little bit on today, but you know, I just, I look 15 years old and that stops me a lot. But I don't want that to happen anymore. And that's kind of why I just turned on the camera and was just like, let's go, you know? And Steven, he, he's the best, you know, he doesn't see me, he doesn't see, um, you know, a skinny, bony girl that I feel like he sees. He sees Kessa, he just, just Kessa, just me. He sees beauty in me, you know, he, he sees all of that, those things that I don't see, and I want to see that, you know. And I'm starting to see it, there's a lot of people who feel like, oh, you know, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty. And I know I'm not ugly, you know, but I'm not like the other girls, I guess you can say. I'm just a simple, plain Jane type of girl. Um, and that honestly leads into the second part of this video. I wanted to talk about why I chose to name our channel Uniquely Weird. And it makes more sense to me as I grow. You know, I made up this name a while ago. And it's starting to make sense as to why this came to me. I was talking with some family members about a, um, last week. And somehow we got on the topic of how I was always a weird child, you know? 
and I shared that story with Steven and he kind of agreed. He was like, you know, I've always kind of been weird too and we shared stories about how it was hard to keep friends because we were kind of different. Our interest, interests weren't the same as other people, the people that we tried to keep as friends. And eventually as we started to relax within ourselves, we would become more ourselves with our friends and that's when they would uh, kind of drift away a little bit because we didn't share the same interests like we thought we did, you know. Um, and we, after experiencing stuff like that, you try to conceal who you are, you try to hide it so that you can fit in. And somehow God put me and him together because we have the same issues, you know. We are both weird as Excuse my French, but we are very, very weird people. And it just so happens that we also started to gravitate, gravitate towards other people who we relate to as we've gotten older in our lives and we start to accept who we are. Um, my two closest friends, and I hope I don't offend anyone, but it's two girls that I met in middle school. And we kind of grew in together and grew together and we realized how weird we all were and those are like the longest kept friendship or friends that I've ever had. Um, and it's so funny because it's the same thing I told Stephen and my friends tell me and I tell them that I'm so happy that I have them in my life because you get me. You know, I understand you, you understand me. I don't have to hide who I really am. If I do something crazy, they just sit there and laugh or they'll join in with me and we both look like some nuts in here. Like, it's just crazy. But I love it. And that's just the point of this, like we are weird, we are unique within ourselves and that is okay. It is okay, completely okay. And so I want to leave that with you um, in this video. It's okay to be who you are, but you know, we have to jump out of our comfort zones, but that doesn't mean that you have to change who you are outside of your comfort zone, you know? Me, this video is me jumping out of my comfort zone again. But I'm still weird and I'll always be me. I will always be this little plain Jane, little petite little person, you know? And I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm coming to terms with who I am. I'm not a girly girl, none of that. <laughs> but, you know, just be you. Be weird, be crazy, be skinny, be thick, be healthy, be fit. Eat what you want, do what you want. Because at the end of the day, we're going to die. And that sounds so bad, but we will. And how are you going to feel on your deathbed? Do you want to feel like you never have been able to be yourself? You never was able to live like you wanted to, you know? Just do, do what you want. That's all I can say. So, please like, please subscribe to our channel. There is more to come, so I want y'all to be there for it. Um, please share this video because I know that there's a lot of people um, out there that will probably need something like this, you know? And just stay weird, guys, and 5,000. Peace out.